Welcome back. We have two things in our favor today. We have a cold front and we also have the full moon tonight. So I made a complete impulse decision to come out here musky fish. I kind of forgot it was the full moon and here we are. So we're going to send it. We're going to go out there. Maybe my PB awaits. You guess, I guess you never really know. Got her. Got her. Yep. Oh my freaking God, let's go. Look at how freaking tall that fish is. This thing's a freaking fat one. That's gotta be 50, dude. Oh That's my God. Oh, yeah. Just a swarm. <laughs> I'm messing around with the bait and the fish, so I'm letting the fish rest in the net right now just to kind of get its nerves back. But this is why I uh, tell people to have a hook cutters. I had to cut those three because these were just in the way. These back three weren't in the fish. And, and then I had to cut one on here, which made it easy enough to get the others out. So, gonna have to replace the hooks on the bucktail. Uh, hooks are cheap, fish are, they're not. Muskies are not a very renewable resource, so. I like to stress to everybody, just invest in the proper fish carrying tools, but this is actually the first fish I've caught on this spot. Hammered at both sides, we already missed one right when I got out here, and uh, this is a big fish. It's not very long, very stout, very fat, so we're gonna get a quick look at her. Holy cow, look at how freaking tall that fish is. This thing's a freaking fat one. <laughs> how sweet is that? Gonna get a quick picture with her and get her on her way. Conditions are just perfect right now. We are right before our moon minor and uh, we have a full moon tonight. We also have thunderstorms in the background. So just perfect conditions. I had an impulse feeling to get out here and musky fish and we got ourselves a fish. So what's what's pretty ridiculous is first of all the wind because I know the audio is going to be horrendous again but what's, what's pretty ridiculous is that uh, I've been out here for probably 20 minutes. Fortunately for me, I can basically come out whenever I please, which is, you know, I'm extremely thankful for that. But, you know, if you plan on taking days off for fishing and you want to maximize your success, then plan those days around days like the full moon, new moon, days with promising weather. Today was just a combination of all of those things. And I didn't have the whole day to come out and fish. I was spending time with my family because today's Sunday. I was actually off work. You know, I was spending time with my family and I just had an impulse, you know, the conditions were right. It was the full moon tonight. And I said, I just gotta go fishing because there's potential for, for so many different things to happen. And uh, we had a fish right away, like five casts in, and I just caught that one. So that's the power of the factors coming together. And uh, we, had a, we had a double rainbow earlier, so maybe that was part of it too, but we're gonna get back to casting here. But uh, that was pretty sweet. Well, it started raining now, so I had to put away one of the cameras, and I, obviously I put away the main camera. I'm using my phone right now, but we're gonna stay out here just because I, I feel like something could still happen. The miner just started, so obviously, you know, I'm not gonna leave the lake when that's just starting, but if there is thunder or lightning, I will take off for my own safety, but we're gonna stick it out for a little bit longer, and uh, I'm confident that, you know, we can get some more action tonight. Hopefully, uh, I don't eat my own words here. Oh, missed him. I got hooks on him too. I'd really be surprised if this fish sticks with me. Darn it. Dang it. Was not paying attention at all. I don't see him either. Okay, well that's a bummer. We're gonna throw a bucktail in there really quick. 
Another one under the boat now. Well, darn. So as great as those conditions are right now, if you see lightning or you hear thunder, exit the lake. And uh, I don't think any fish in the world is worth the risk of losing your life. So the last night we were out and we had the full moon last night and I was lucky enough to catch one fish. I had chances at two others, but the next day after and I'm with Alex McLean who I have fished with in the past before. We've always had uh, some pretty good luck when we've been together. So we are on big fish water on uh, the follow-up day of the full moon and uh, I'm excited. I'm hopeful for my personal best muskie, but I think if we get a bite today, it's gonna be a big fish. So. We're going to spend the rest of the evening out here and hopefully things go to plan and we put a fish in the net. Oh my god. Dude, something like, it felt like it slipped. That thing stopped That's me boil. in my damn tracks. I saw the boil. Well, we've been fishing for a while now. Alex finally just had a bite on a glider. Uh, we didn't get a look at the fish, but nice to get action nonetheless though. So kind of boost the confidence here to keep on grinding out. I think that uh, when the sun starts to go behind the trees, maybe things will start to pick up a little bit more, but keep it posted. Here we go, here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? I, I, I barely watch it. Here, probably not three and a half of a day with four fish a week. I don't watch that stick good stuff either. I just anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Over like three videos a week, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna, the best way to put it is just scatter, scatter. Bro. Yeah. Got her. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be great. Okay, dude, you never know. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Keep the tension. Keep the tension. Oh my god, dude. Oh, it's oh. Let's go! Let's go! That's, a, that's gotta be 50, dude. That oh my god. Fish. The bugs are just, wow, terrible. But pretty confident this is my PB. Definitely my biggest fish on top water. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at this monster. <gasps> 50, 52. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I'm swallowing bugs right now. What <laughs> a monster fish. Uh, complete impulse trip over here. Day after the full moon. On top water. 52 incher. Bugs in my mouth. New PV. Thanks to Alex for taking me out. And, uh, Let's get this fish back. Oh my god. She's ready to go too. Fish, look at the freaking back on that thing. Oh what a giant, brother. She won't take long. She goes. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Just a swarm. 
Well, just like that, the trip is made, and uh, that is my second personal best with Alex. Two years in a row, I've beaten my personal best, and I'll play some of that footage from last year now. Ben, take it, Ben, take it. Powerhouse. All the way up here. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Ben, this way, this way, this way. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Oh. PV by a quarter on a sucker. And we're gonna get her back in the lake here so she can get caught again. Just an awesome fish. And uh, the fact that that fish just bit way out in the cast, I think that's a sign that we're gonna stay out a little bit longer and uh, see if we don't have ourselves a little window here. Yeah, no, I, I just don't Got her. Got her. Yep. She's gonna do it. This is big. This is giant. This is giant, dude. Oh. Get in here, dude. Come on, keep tight. Keep your hands off. Come on, keep your hands off. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, let's go. Oh my god. Number two in the net tonight on the flat tail. So we've continued fishing since I just caught my personal best and uh, we had a little wind direction change, it just seemed really juicy so we stuck it out, it cooled down a little bit so we slid up a little shallower and uh, Alex suggested throwing a flat tail so I did and it paid off with another beautiful fish, not as big as, as the last one here but still a nice healthy fat muskie that we're going to take a look at here. On top water, second fish tonight. It paid to stay out after dark, and uh, let's get this awesome fish back in the lake. Whoa! I think the boat next to us just got one too, but that's pretty sweet. Second fish of the night, another dandy fish on top water. Can't beat it. It paid to uh, make an impulse trip over here and uh, just an awesome night of fishing. Shout out to Alex McLean. If you don't follow him on Instagram, make sure to check his Instagram out. He catches giant fish every single year and uh, super thankful for the opportunity to come out and fish with him. Once again, we always seem to just have a blast and uh, tonight's no exception to that. <laughs> 